Well, g'day everybody and welcome to our play of Ship Graveyard Simulator. Thank you very much to Neary for uh, gifting this to the channel. Uh, we did try the demo out when the demo was available during one of the Steam Fests and uh, looked pretty cool. It's got uh, some bad reviews and stuff like that and, and, and a bad rating on Steam at the moment. But uh, let's get into it and play a new game. Uh, normal difficulty sounds pretty good to me. Um, again, excited. I'm always excited to play new games. Pretty excited to play this one. If you guys would like to see a series of this one, definitely let me know uh, in the comments below. Um, yeah, here we go. Ship Graveyard Simulator. All right, here we go. Games Incubator Presents. Now, not that you guys could see it because uh, it'll be edited out, but that took over a minute and a half to load. Over a minute and a half. Look at that. What a uh, junkyard. Little shanties. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. And there's our little house, hey? Our little house on the non-prairie. Okie dokie, uh, explore, carefully check abandoned ships, you can find materials on them, deck, living quarters, engine room, there are many places to explore, drive your car to travel faster, dismantle whatever you can, simple barrels and pipes as well as massive engines to find scrap, uh, there's a big variety of materials from common steel and copper to very precious silver and gold, choose wisely because you have limited inventory space. There's some keys, alright, we will figure that out as we go, I think, and here we are. Here we are. I think I'm going to change my uh, mouse settings. Hang on a sec, guys. All right, that's a little bit better. I changed my mouse sensitivity to uh, to about four. So uh, let's jump in our vehicle for starters. Can we jump in our truck? How do we jump in our truck? This is our truck, isn't it? Open the trunk. Jump in the truck. There we go. You've got to get right in the right spot. Automatic start. Oh, my God. Goodness, I am so sucking up this steering wheel. Oh, I'm glad that I didn't drink any beer today. Or I would have been in a little bit of strife. All right. Didn't book any ship, it said. Uh, find and destroy metal metal scrap. Wow. Blimey. Shush. That was tough. All right, here we go. Yep, no worries. Dismantle. Happy destroying. If you hit correctly, you can speed up your destruction progress. and more experience. Hammer mastery. Spend points in your skill tree. No worries, we can do that. There's our balance. There's our skills. There is our progress. Level one, $100 a day small. Uh, unalloyed steel. Okay, cool. Now, uh, let's talk to this worker. Oh, we can uh, actually hire workers and stuff. Okay, that sounds interesting. Uh, workers tier 2 cost $70 a day. All right, eventually, eventually. Let's go into here and see if we can uh, open our trunk. Do we have anything in our trunk? We have nothing in our trunk at the moment. And Simi cannot figure out how to get his hammer out. There it is. Number one. Bash the steel down. Bash the steel down with our big sledgehammer. There we go. All right, beautiful. Let's pick up that stuff. Is there any other stuff that we can bash? No, we can't bash any of that. Uh, you didn't book any strips. Sell materials in market. It's going to make us go through all of this. That's all right. That's fine. We can do that. We can do that. I have no idea where the market is. I'm still sucking this steering wheel. Something shocking. There's the market over there. That's our house there. Uh, can we go inside our house? I don't know. Let's uh, jump out of here and go and sell this stuff. There we go. Uh, you can sell carefully collected materials. A trader might not be the most handsome man alive, but offers good prices. Material prices will change every day depending on what you're trading. Okay. Let's just sell it all anyway to start ourselves off. Sell for 20 bucks. We have made $20. Buy a hacksaw in the tool shop, which is right here, obviously. Uh, let's see. Uh, here you can buy new stuff, which definitely helps you ship uh, destruction. Can convince tradesmen to order new stuff for you to buy in this tool shop. Of course, not for free. Let's uh, buy this hacksaw right there. Uh, nope, we can't buy a hacksaw because we don't have 50 bucks. All right, what we're going to have to do, I just want to have a look and see if we can actually go inside our house. Yes, we can. 
There we go. Can we sleep? Yeah, we can sleep. Is there anything else we can do? What a life, eh? Oh, check it out. Use the computer. Uh, $100 a day. Let's book that ship. That's a nice little ship, isn't it? Not enough money because we're going to need $100. All right. Well, how do we do it? How do we do it? Can we get into those? No, we can't. All right. Let's close that. You know, somebody might want to go in there and steal our uh, our Windows 95 machine in there. All right. Let's go and see if we can find some more scrap without running anybody over. I don't know. There's got to be scrap. It's got to be scrapped somewhere. If we can't book a ship, what can we do? Ah, oh, look, there's scrap line on the ground. Oh, let's get out of there. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Here we go. Oil, oil. Uh, cast iron. Lovely. Can we pick up any of that? Uh, there's some more oil here. All right, we're just going to go around and collect some scrap for starters, I think. It's probably the best way to do it. Build up enough money to purchase a hacksaw. There we go. Am I going to lose my vehicle? Am I going to forget where it's parked? No, it's uh, it's highlighted anyway. Excellent. Can we? Uh, is there anything else we can bash down in here? Lots of rocks and stuff. There's some more metal over here. Which is cast iron. Yep. I'll grab that as well. Uh, can we knock this pole down? I'm guessing that we can. Any poles sticking out of the ground by the looks of it. Rusted pole, one copper and two rusted steel. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll get that. Rusted steel. Uh, oh, our level's going up. That's pretty good. That's gotta be that's gotta be a good thing. Can we see any other poles? Look, there's some more poles here that we can probably do as well. Yep. Let's get all the poles. I'm glad that there's a little bits of steel and stuff lying around on the ground. That's certainly going to help us get up to the point where we can book a ship. Buy some more tools. There we go. Get you as well. It's uh, strange that we're getting copper out of a uh, out of a rusted steel post. But it is what it is. Bash you there. Out there, there's a little bit of copper there. There's some more stuff here. Some more stuff here. I, ah, yeah, we can actually bash some of this stuff down. Who needs to book a ship, eh? Who needs to book a ship? Uh, buy a hacksaw in the tool shop. That is the next job. All right, there we go. Okay, we've got a little bit more out of that. I'm assuming we can knock these down as well then. Perfect. And we've got uh, 7 of 10 in our inventory, so I've got to keep my eye on that as well. We can just dump stuff in our ship, any, I mean our ship, in our, uh, in our ute anyway. So do we have 7 different types? We do. We've got rusted steel, copper, cast iron, rusted steel, oh, it stacks in 5. Oil, cast iron, okay, no worries. Got to get this... Uh, Got to get this uh, skill level up so we can bash these a little bit faster. Level two already. There we go. Level two. Do we have uh, Do we have skills? We've got skills up there. Do we have? We've got skill points to assign. Hammer speed. Hammer damage. Uh, yep. All right. No worries. Let's do that. Uh, car slot plus two. Equipment slot plus one. All right. We'll do that as well. That sounds pretty good. Uh, utilities and management. Market, uh, plus 5%, minus 5% on materials. Probably need to look at that at some point as well. Reducing the cost of, uh, of a ship. Uh, look at this. There's just stuff lying everywhere. So we've now got, uh, we've now got 11 slots. In our bag, there's another one that we can bash down. So three rusted steel, one cast iron. All right, I'm going to do some of this and earn enough money, guys, to uh, to be able to book ourselves a ship, which is going to cost us a hundred dollars. So we're going to need 150 bucks because the hacksaw, I think, was going to cost us 50 bucks. 
as well. So I'm going to do this, earn as much as I possibly can, and uh, and then I will see you guys when we can actually get ourselves onto a ship. Or actually when we purchase the hacksaw, that might be a good idea. Grab that. Uh, we've got no room in our inventory whatsoever anymore. Alright, we sold all that for $333. Let's purchase ourselves a hacksaw. Uh, yep, we'll buy one of those, no worries. Cut beams and pipes, watch out for the very sharp blade. Cutting objects will lower the efficiency you saw and reduce damage. Uh, remember to buy a new blade at the hardware shop when necessary. Get more experience by cutting it. Yep, no worries. Excellent. All right, perfect. So now what we should be able to do is go and book ourselves a ship on the pewter. Let's uh, book that. The uh, the atro uh, atropos 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 atropos. It's going to cost us a hundred dollars a day. All right, excellent. Whereabouts is that ship? I don't know. I have no idea where that ship is. Uh, wait for the ship. All right, we can wait for the ship. We've got our ute over here. We'll continue collecting little bits of metal while we're waiting for the ship. I don't know what we have to wait. Maybe it's uh, on its way in. It must be on its way in, I reckon. All right, let's grab that. All right, just picking up a few other little bits and pieces. The ship arrives tomorrow morning, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and sell all of this. I don't know whether the vendor's open all night or not. So I've just uh, gathered some more resources here. So we'll fill up on those, and then uh, and then we will go and sleep for the night. And then our ship is due to arrive at 8 a.m. in the morning. So uh, if we if we just fill up on stuff, and then it does timing. It is timing with these things. So if you uh, if you miss time your your button clicks for your next swing, then it kind of it messes you up a little bit and slows you down a little bit. There's some copper over here as well. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Let's grab that oil. Uh, more copper here. Oh, hello. What's this? A wooden box. Got to buy a lockpick for that. All right, we're going to need to buy ourselves a lockpick then. Most definitely, so we can find out what's in there. Okay, over to here. Have we got a torch? Yes, we do. Perfect. We'll just grab this stuff as well while we're at it. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, nothing else there. Let's go and grab our ute. And, <gasps> hello. Oh, no, we can use our hacksaw for this. Why can't we use our hacksaw? Unlock the ability first. Uh, okay, so we've got to unlock the ability of uh, management utilities right there. Saw damage. Yeah, oh, I thought it was already lock unlocked. 10% uh, saw damage. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sharp blade. All right, we'll do that. Let's use our skill points, but we still can't use it. Yes, we can. There we go. Lovely. Oh, this is going to take a little bit of time, isn't it? Definitely going to take a little bit of time. I think copper's worth a bit, though, isn't it? Would copper be worth a little bit? Is that stuff going into our inventory? That's another question. No, it's all it's all falling down there. Okay. There's another one. Okay, beautiful. Chop you off as well. Ah, uh, look at the saw look at the saw sharpness going down. It's definitely going down relatively quickly, isn't it? Uh there we go. So do we really want to be Maybe we should be cutting the whole thing off. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. Uh, crouch down there. We've got that end. Right. And let's go down here and grab this end. I didn't know that it was a thing. And how much do we get from dropping that? One, two, three, four. Beautiful. That's pretty good. And that one. Oh, blimey. Really? There we go. Uh, oh, look, there's one there too. We are pretty well full, guys. Let's go and get our ute and go and sleep for the night. 
Might put the uh, hacksaw away. Grab the ute. Grab the little sucker our guts in. <gasps> there we go. All right. Okay, lights. Oh, where's the lights? Oh, my. oh there we go. Lights are on. Oh, that's uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. Over we go. Let's park in here. That's our garage, you know. Turn those off. Jump out and go. And uh, oh yeah, the the vendors over here. So let's uh let's just sell all of this stuff off anyway. There's three hundred twenty one bucks. It's not too bad. The full inventory for three hundred twenty one bucks. Let's open the door and go to sleep. Sleep. Well, that's definitely rolling it into the shore, isn't it? Yep, sure is, sure is. All right, we've got uh, we've got some ship work to do. Oh, oh, blimey! There we go. Suck in the guts. Lucky I haven't had any breakfast. And where is it? Uh, what are we doing over here? Uh, collect enough materials to build a workshop. Uh, okay cost 15 rusted steel and 10 copper uh, yeah we can buy that yeah buy not enough money or materials okay so we've got to get the materials what do we need uh, 10 copper and 15 rusted steel could have told me that the other day now where's our where's our boat where's our ship that came in over there all right sweet <gasps> suck it in. suck it in Simmy suck in your guts Oh. All right, there we go. Look at that. She's all ours. She is all ours. Ah, we own ourselves a boat. Let's grab that while we're here and grab that while we're here as well. Let's go in and see what we can do. Let's do some damage. Let's do some damage. All right, what have we got here? Uh, that's okay. go let's do some damage on that as well I don't know whether this is actually doing anything it's not really giving us anything rusted steel and oil from this that's good we can do that thank you very much uh, we're also going to need to we're also going to need to make sure that we've got a hundred dollar payment for the ship for tomorrow as well, so we'll keep that in mind. Do have level ups to do as well, so we probably need to do some level ups. There we go. Thank you very much. Let's grab all of that. Rusted steel. Uh, what have we got skills wise? Uh, probably want to do hammer damage, uh, saw damage. Maximum sharpness and 10% hammer damage there as well. Super hit. Single hit that deals three damage. Hmm, that's not too bad. Equipment slot and car. Let's do another equipment slot, I reckon. That sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, let's get some more stuff done. We do more damage now. Apparently, we do more damage now. Uh, get your timing right, Simmy. Health and safety first. Getting all of this junk out of the way. There we go. Over there. Doesn't take much to smash these up. A little bit of time, but not too much. Okay, so what do we need? 15, we need 10 copper and we need 15 cast iron. At the moment, we've, uh, sorry, rusted steel. So we've got 10 rusted steel, we've got 3 copper. Need to find some more, uh, some more things that have copper in them. So we'll, uh, we'll attempt to do that. Okay, it looks like these have got copper in them. Let's, uh, choppy choppy. As much as we possibly can. There we go, got you and got you over here, lovely. 
should give us uh, a, a couple of pieces of copper at least. There we go. Let's uh, do this one as well while we're at it. And right over in the corner here. We will go in and check the bridge and stuff. Apparently there's some really good stuff in the... Oh, there we go. In the bridge for us to, uh, for us to gather. So uh, let's grab you. That actually uh, got rid of the whole lot, didn't it? Got you and we'll get get you as well. Oh, squeeze in there. Squeeze in there, Simi. Suck the guts in. There we go. Uh, that's one there. That only give us one. You crap of me. Maybe we do need to chop them up. A little bit smaller, perhaps. I have to go and buy some more hacksaw blades as well. There we go. Oh man, can you imagine? Can you imagine chopping this with a uh, with a hacksaw? You'd be there forever. And I mean, absolutely ever. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, here they all are. They've all spread from, you know what, to you know what. Ah, oh, look, they're over here as well. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Let's uh, do this one as well. Get rid of that. Okay, there we go. There's another couple. So what do we got on us now? We've got uh, uh, we've got five, ten, ten of those. We've got uh, we've got enough copper. We need to get ourselves some more steel, some more rusted steel. But we also need some stuff to sell as well because we're going to need a hundred dollars uh, in the morning to pay for our ship hire. So there we go. Perfect. That'll give us a little bit more. It gives us some cast iron and stuff. Uh, some more copper there. Some more oil there. Some rusted steel in this one. Okay, we're full. Let's, uh, oh crap, let's head back out here. Throw some stuff over into the ute. Fill the ute up. That'd be easy. Uh, there, let's throw all of that over there. So we've got 10 copper. We've got our 15 rusted steel that we need, which is good. So now what we'll do is we'll basically fill our inventory up before we uh, before we head back. So, all right, looks like we've cleared nearly everything off of this deck. I wonder whether there's anything else because there's no point in uh, in continuing on with having this ship if we can't find anything else. I'm guessing that there probably is going to be. There's a lot of stuff up here. What do we get from a water tank? Do we get some plastic? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. In here is where the money is. This is where the money is. Let's just get rid of these pallets. I'm sure in here is where the money is. There we go. What's this long box beginner? We need to buy a lockpick for that. Uh, rusted steel. Let's bash the chair up. Why not? Uh, it's a captain's life, isn't it? All right, there we go. Uh, intermediate. Unlock that. What do we get out of here? Two copper, two rusted steel. Ah, oh, we need a blowtorch for that. Okay, that's fair enough. Can't do anything with that. So we need to remember that we need to bring one of those back. All right, that's about it, for guys, for this one. Let's uh, get over here. And uh, head back and build the workshop for starters. And then, uh, let's see, what are we going to need for the workshop? So we're going to need 10 copper. And we're going to need 15 of those, which we have got 5 copper there. Uh, let's swap those over for some more copper. Let's swap that over for some more copper. So that gives us 10. Yep. Uh, that copper can go in there, which leaves us with an extra slot. And then there's enough stuff there. All right, beautiful. All right, we'll park this fella out here. Run over here, and we'll uh, we'll finish this off. So we've got uh, we've got enough money to pay for it. Uh, so we've got the five hundred, the fifteen rusted, and the ten steel, which is a workshop tier one. Let's build that. Let's see how we go. And there it is. All right, so combine materials and melt them down to create new alloys. Every alloy requires different melting conditions. You need to carefully set up the furnace to be careful. 
One mistake can ruin your materials. Use a warehouse near the furnace to store materials. Expand the workshop to acquire access to new furnace melting options. Temperature, air, and water access are very important in the melting process. By upgrading, you also increase the storage space. Interesting. Interesting. Let's uh, put some cast iron in there and some steel in there. Just for you know what's and, and you know what's. Okay, so that's the storage. What does this do here? Furnace, none of 25. Recipes, rusted steel and copper, 1000 degrees. Unalloyed steel. Steel is cast iron and cast steel. Oil and oil equals kerosene. How do we, what do we have to put in here? I don't know. We're going to find out soon enough. Let's, uh, let's go and grab this. Let's put all of that stuff over here. We'll sell all of this off to make sure that we've got, uh, to make sure that we've got a hundred. We should be watching these really. But uh, at the moment, uh, steel, oh no, that's just plain steel, rusted steel, uh, oil, See, petroleum and stuff is pretty good. All right, so we need to set up some sort of... Uh, we've got $367. We obviously need to set up some sort of... Uh, oh, lockpick, 400 bucks. Are you crapping me? Holy moly. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this stuff out and put all of that in here and sell all of this stuff off as well. There we go. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go over to the marketplace, throw all of that over. I know that we're not getting a fantastic price for everything. Uh, $559. It'll leave us $100 for tomorrow. We'll be able to buy those lockpicks. There we go. Uh, so that we may get those things tomorrow. All right, let's uh, park the beast up. There we go. All right, now I'm not sure what we need to. Uh, I'm not sure what we need to fire the furnace up. I'll have to figure that one out. Didn't really tell me. To, can we open those? No, we can't. All right, been charged another hundred dollars for that ship. I'm hoping that we actually get something decent out of these uh, out of these crates because otherwise we've kind of almost waste, wasted wasted a hundred dollars. I forgot my uh, my unspacious cabbed ute parked itself in the garage overnight that's convenient isn't it there's some stuff there we're gonna have to pick up some more there's copper there all right parky parky there we go beautiful let's get out and uh, see what we can do by using these lockpick skills we might be able to skill up our lockpick actually mightn't we let's have a look if we can skill up our lockpick Torch, mop, no. Utilities, lockpick. Uh, plus two lockpicks, minus 5%. Uh, plus two lockpicks. That's going to help. Uh, minus 5% lockpick price, minus 5%. And then uh, there's master locks over here, which is locked. What else can we do? Management. Uh, material prices plus five percent. Material prices plus five percent. There we go. That's going to help us out quite a bit. It's a bit of a ship there. It'd be actually really interesting to go to one of those places where the ship graveyards are, wouldn't it? Let's bash this for now. I'm a working for the man. Yeah, I'm a working for the man. Oh, crap. Uh, hold space to rotate the lock. Don't, don't break it, Simmy. Don't break your lock pick. There we go. What did we get in here? Steel, alcohols, and aluminium. Can we get, can we get, like, timber or something from Bash in the Box, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how to fire up those furnaces. There we go. We're 88.2%. Uh, 88 uh, oh, crap. There's one. Uh, there we 
go. Got that one as well. Lead. Beautiful. Let's smash the box up so that nobody else can get it. It's a nice box, actually. Wouldn't mind keeping the box. Can't keep it, though. All right, so we've got that, which we can't do because we need a blowtorch. So I'm wondering whether that's the the remainder of this ship, basically. I can't. I don't think I can see anything else. Uh, can we go down? Can we go below deck? Can we get up the top there? We might be able to get up here. <gasps> we can. We can. Oh, look, there's another intermediate box here. There we go. Lovely. All those years of Skyrim, guys. All those years of Skyrim. But we're still only 88%. We're still only 88%. Achievement unlocked. Ah, oh, now we're 90%, 92%. Does it, uh, does it count if we smash this up? May do. 92%. Aha! Here we go. I'm glad that it actually gives you a, uh, a, a percentage of what you've done on this, on this particular ship. That, like, helps a lot. So we can probably go... I don't know whether the rental stops automatically... So refining stuff is definitely going to give us a, an increase in profits if I can work out what I need to put in to refine. Oh, I know what we need to put in to refine. I'm a dork. All right. We'll go back and do that. I'll show you guys. Okay, another wooden box here. Oh, very close. No, back this way. There we go. Petroleum and steel and petroleum. We can't pick up. We cannot pick. We cannot pick up the petroleum. Uh, let's drop something. Why not? What do we and don't we need? Uh, we, we pretty well need everything. But what we can do is... Mm, I think uh, we're going to need... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to drop the cast iron there we go right click on that and I'm going to pick that up because I reckon that's probably worth a little bit more than what the cast iron is all right here we go I will see you guys when we go back to the refinery all right we are back we are back I just want to head inside and see if I can cancel that ship because there's uh probably nothing else that we can get out of that so uh let's have a look uh cancel booking there we go all right, beautiful. Uh, what else was there? There's some other stuff on here. We've got uh, one for 250, and we've got uh, we've got this one here for 700 a day. All right, beautiful. That's something to aim towards. But what I want to do for starters is I want to run into here. Uh, let's have a look on here. Uh, let's see, rusted steel and copper. All right, rusted steel and copper. Uh, 1,000 degrees. Rusted steel, there, copper, there, uh, rusted, st uh, let's get some more copper and rusted steel out of here, let's uh, grab the copper, let's grab the rusted steel, right there, we'll swap that over, we'll grab that copper as well and swap that over, and we'll see if we can make some of this stuff. Uh, where are we, let's see, uh, do we need, so do we need to put 25 in? before the machine will work or do we just need to even it out there's 10 and 10 20 20s there copper there copper there um is there an on button there is start melting all right let's start melting why not off it goes it's melting Okay, uh, let's see. There's a lot to unlock through the game. Level up and gain access to new ships and recipes. Deliver required materials to complete orders and get rewards. You will never be able to complete them all. New orders will show up every day. Perfect. Uh, what have we got in there? Nothing. So we can fill that up. Uh, let's have a look at that. Is has that furnace? Where, where does it come out? <gasps> there it is. There it is. All right, let's see what we can uh, get, f what prices we can get for this. I'm excited. 
All right, there we go. Uh, let's grab as much of that as we possibly... Oh, no. Crap. Wrong one. Let's grab as much of that as we possibly can. Uh, let's talk to this guy. So what do we got? So for unalloyed steel at the moment, that's brass. That's unalloyed steel. Not the best price. So we probably need to hold on to that. Uh, for steel, yes, we've got a good price there. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a normal price for rusted steel. So we probably want to just put that in our machine. Alcohols, we have a good price for alcohols. Uh, what else do we have? Copper. Uh, we don't have a good price for copper, but we do need some extra money, don't we? A normal price for oil, so we'll sell that off as well. Uh, oil there as well. Let's uh, go into here. Oh, no, don't don't get in the truck, Simmy. Get out of the truck. All right, there we go. Uh, what else have we got? We've got aluminium. I'm not sure what the price for aluminium is at the moment. I took all of that out. Petroleum, I think there was a good price for petroleum, wasn't there? Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's throw, yeah, alcohols, uh, aluminium or aluminum. Depends on where you are and what you want to call it. We'll keep that copper as well. And all of that stuff we'll throw in our machine. This stuff here, we will uh, we will probably sell off, I reckon. Uh, let's see. So not the un not the uh, unalloyed steel, but the kerosene. Do we have kerosene? We don't have kerosene. Steel, yes, we definitely have a good price on steel. Aluminium, have a good price on that as well. Uh, we have a good price on alcohols, and we have a good price on lead as well. Uh, we will get rid of the normal oils. And what price do we have on petroleum? Not very good, so we're going to keep hold of that. But we'll get rid of that. We will make our own petroleum and stuff at some point, guys. Uh, there's $308 there. Let's sell that. And maybe put the rest of it into our machine, I reckon. Da -da 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 -da. Over here into the furnace. Um... Now, didn't it say that it could actually draw from the inventory here? Let's have a look. No, it doesn't look like it can. Okay, I thought that it could. I thought that it could draw from here, but obviously not. Hopefully the alloy is worth a good price in the morning. Uh, we need some more rusted steel and some more copper. There we go. Uh, more copper there and more rusted steel there. What can we make out of here? Steel and cast iron and oil and oil. All right, cool. We'll keep that in mind. And that makes kerosene, which is a pretty good price. Let's just fire that up. Make some more of those alloys. There they are. Perfect. Lovely. And we can probably sell those off, I reckon. Yeah, all right, let's put the cast iron in here. Throw that over there. Oh, we're going to have to buy ourselves another ship as well. So uh, I'm probably going to end up selling these off, I reckon. Uh, let's see, aluminium. No, we've got uh, the alloyed, unalloyed steel. I wonder what that sells for most of the time. Hmm, petroleum might hold off. All right, guys, that is it. <laughs> that is my first look at uh, Ship Graveyard Simulator. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. It is actually pretty awesome so far. I'm actually, actually enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying it. There's the fellas down there. Uh, there's an order down there. Some people looking for stuff. Might just run down there and have a quick squiz. All right, this dude apparently has an order. What does he want? He wants nine oil. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. And six cast iron. Well, we have six cast iron, so we can accept that anyway. Okay, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it here. I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.